On this day, October 23rd, 1780, a surprise encounter would occur that would impact the rest of the Revolutionary War. Early in the morning, three men stopped a traveler who was riding through the woods of Tarrytown and discovered that he was carrying information on the fortifications of West Point, a fort that was critical in preventing the British from gaining control of the Hudson River. In ordinary clothes and giving the name John Anderson, the man appeared to be a civilian, but would later reveal that he was Major John Andre, head of British Secret Service in America. He carried a pass signed by Major General Benedict Arnold, who was in command of the Fort of West Point at the time. Despite disagreements with Congress, he was widely considered a hero of the Continental Army. The encounter would expose Arnold as a traitor to the American cause and save the lives of the soldiers stationed in the fort, including George Washington, who was conducting an ins inspection at the time. Numerous people would be involved with this historic moment all with their own connections and motivations leading up to the moment. Arnold handed over the plans for the fort, along with promises that the defenses would be minimal and that Washington himself would be coming to visit the very next day in the home of Joshua Het Smith. Among his neighbors, Smith's loyalties were uncertain, but he most likely would have met Andre earlier in the war while he was staying in the home of Smith's brother-in-law. When Andre was prevented from boarding his ship, Smith would have provided the civilian clothing to allow him to travel less conspicuously over land. Westchester County was known as the no man's land. This meant that neither the British Army nor the Continental Army had a firm foothold in the area. Instead, military scouts as well as civilians roamed the area, often stopping, questioning, or even robbing travelers sometimes even raiding nearby farmlands. This was the terrain that Andre would have to travel through after he left Joshua Hetsmith's home and would have to try to reach New York City and the safety of the British lines. Today, I'm in the town of Portland at the grave of one of these individuals. John Paulding was part of the Continental Army and he would be the one to discover the evidence that would prove Arnold's treason. John Paulding was a militiaman who had been captured by the British earlier in 1780. He escaped the Sugar House prison and in the process stole a Hessian uniform, which he was wearing the day he encountered Andre in the woods. He and his companions, David Williams and Isaac Van Wart, all searched Andre's belongings, including his clothing. It was there they discovered the papers he was carrying. Paulding was the only member of the group who knew how to read, and so realized the significance of the papers. The true motivations of the group has been a subject of debate ever since. Many celebrated them as patriotic heroes, while others believed that they were thieves, simply trying to rob Andre before they discovered what he was carrying. One of the major players in this story was Peggy Shippen, a young woman from Philadelphia. While the city was occupied by the British, she became very close to Major Andre, some even believing that they had courted. However, Andre was forced to leave with the British when the Americans took over the city. At that time, she began growing closer to Benedict Arnold. The two of them would eventually marry, and it's believed that she was the main connector between them, possibly even proposing the idea of Arnold reaching out to Andre when he decided to change sides. However, after the treason was discovered, she made a great show of being entirely ignorant and distressed by the news that her husband had changed sides. So much so that she successfully convinced George Washington, Alexander Hamilton, and the Marquis de Lafayette that she was entirely ignorant of the plot. They allowed her to return and reunite with, with her husband. As the daughter of a wealthy Philadelphia family, Peggy Shippen grew up in comfort and luxury. Many would point to her expensive taste as a motivation for Arnold changing sides. It was not until after her lifetime, however, that historians began to consider the possibility that she had proposed the idea in the first place. A belief further supported by her previous relationship with Andre, as well as her participation in the letters written between the two men. Another woman who would impact the course of events was Cornelia Van Cortland Beekman, 
A strong supporter of the revolution, she had hosted many continental officers in her home. Shortly before the fateful meeting, one officer left his valise with his uniform in her care. The Beekman home was not far from Joshua Het Smith's home, and according to Van Cortland family lore, Smith called on the Beekman home, claiming to have been sent by the officer to collect his things. Cornelia Beekman refused, determined to return it to no one but the officer himself. After Andre was captured, the family realized Smith may have intended to give Andre a Continental officer's uniform instead of civilian clothes. Though impossible to tell for sure, the alternate disguise may have changed the course of events.